Hello, YouTube. It happened again. Stay tuned. Okay, YouTube, this is going to be a short upload, and if you are viewing it, I ask that you please comment and give me your opinion. So yesterday I received a comment on my Amazing Spider-Man 129, Angelo the Comic Guy's book series in relation to the submission of that book to CGC. The comment was from an individual by the name of Kenny Sanderson. And he is a professional restorer and conservationist of comics. And I have to say, I feel that he is the best. And I look at his pictures on Instagram and I study them and I learn a lot from them. But his issue is that what I am doing to the ASM 129 is something that the way I read his comment was doing something that was dishonest because he feels that when I do a book and I am submitting the book to CGC that I should list every single aspect of work that I performed on the book in a note to CGC so they know what I did with the book. So let's take a look so I don't misinterpret any of his words, what he said. In response, I said the following. Now I pose this question to the comic book community and for anyone who watches my uploads, especially this one. What is the obligation of an individual to CGC when they submit a book? Is it their obligation to make copious notes? Is it their obligation to list every aspect of what work was performed? That is the question I'm posing. Now I asked Mr. Sanderson in response, as you saw, let me know, do you list everything down? Do you take notes and say, dear CGC, I performed X, Y, Z on this book. Please take that into consideration before you grade it. I'm waiting for the answer, and I'm very curious as to what it is. So YouTube, that's it for now. And to quote Mike Tiger, or Mike from Night Tiger Comics, he told me a while back, he goes, Jerry, people are gonna criticize and they're gonna say what you're doing should be done differently because a lot of people don't do what you do on YouTube. So just be prepared and get ready for it. So please comment. Let me know if notes should be drafted. 
if a memorandum should be submitted with every comic saying what work was be what was done and what i is what i'm doing dishonest at all because by reading kenny sanderson's comment you can read that he feels in my opinion that by submitting books and washing covers and doing what i do and not disclosing it to cgc that it's somehow dishonest i don't think so because everything that i do is an open book and i lay everything out there on my uploads what i do with books just like this iron man and submariner number one I clean the cover with calcium hydroxide and methyl cellulose, which is not bleach, and it came back a universal grade. Was I obligated to put on some type of sticky note that I did that to this book? That's the question. So I would appreciate an answer from the viewers, and thank you, and stay tuned.